watch closely. You've seen this already, but you know, you can yeah. pretend you've not seen it. Look, I've got four playing cards, three Ace of Spades and the Queen of Hearts. The Queen of Hearts is the money card, the ones to bet on. Watch closely. Watch the Queen. Would you help me? Yes. Okay. Where's the Queen now? You've won a fiver. I'll do it again for you. I'll do it quickly this time. Where's the Queen? Second from face. Aha, kind of got you there a little bit. That's an in joke, isn't it, for magicians, really? But watch the Queen, second from the face of the packet. If I turn the cards face down and reverse the order, it should bring it to second from top, shouldn't it? Well, it's not on top, it's not second from top, it's actually on the bottom. I'll do it again. Keep an eye on it, it's on the face of the cards. If I reverse the order, that should bring it to top, shouldn't it? If it's not on top, it's actually uh, second from top. Keep an eye on it, I'll leave it face up so you can see it. The Queen of Hearts is face up right there. But don't bet on that either, because the one that's face up is actually one of the aces. So at this stage we've got uh, one, two, three, four aces. But don't ever bet on the Queen, because the Queen doesn't exist. She's not there. But she is there, because she's hiding in plain sight. The Queen is right there. Can you see her? Can you see the markings? Yeah. Can you see the markings? They're right there. Look at that. Right there. there. <laughs> Now, Greg, mm. I've got uh, two sets of five cards here. These are reds, these are blacks, these are hearts, those are clubs. And uh, you'll notice, like, there's an eight here and an eight there, a uh, five there and a five there and so on. But I'm yeah. going to square them up so you can't quite, you can't really remember the order. No, I can't. I've got four coins as well. Yeah, that? American dollars. American dollars. Now, I'm going to ask you to distribute those coins in front of the cards. So if you want to distribute four there, I'm going to transfer um, yeah. four coins from uh, four cards from face to rear. All right. If I put two there, it'd be two cards. Yeah. And if you put two there, I put transfer two here and two there, or three here and one okay. there. You'll get you'll get the, the choice. Of mine. Yeah. But th th what we, I want you to do is try and get a mate of these cards. This is what I want you to oh, try and achieve. A queen and the queen, or eight and an eight. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, so I put two there and two there. So I'm going to transfer two here and two here. Yeah. Okay. So it's one, one face, two, yeah. one. Yeah. Two, a ten and an ace. Uh, not a not, not, not a match. Okay, right. You've got some more choices here. Okay. So you've got three coins left. How do you want to distribute three, those? I'll put one coin there and two here. So transfer two cards here. Two coins. One, right? two, cards. two, and one there. Yeah. You've got an eight and a five. And Again, no, no match. No match. All right, come on now. You've got to get okay. get get get, get with it. I'm trying my best. And two, <laughs> two there. Two there. <laughs> two there. So two. transfer nothing here but two here. Yeah. One. Um, Two. two. No, Again, you got ten. No, no, no. Right, you've got. Is this right. usual? Well, it's normally people get at least two or three matches. Do but they? You got one coin now. This is what I call negative ESP. It, it, it's not negative. Any right. yeah. It's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> one there. One there. And one. one oh. There. Oh. You got a match. a match. Two queens. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to put another coin here just to keep it no looking match. nice. I've got one match out of five. You got one match out of five. That's not great, is it? It's not great. And you had to, all those choices were yours. Mm. I mean, you could have put those. I think you'd get two matches, wouldn't you? Actually, you've got five matches. You've got five. How's that? You can't see the matches, can you? Right. But look at this. If I take away those coins, they are all matching because those backs are both green, those backs are both blue, those backs are both red, those backs are both black, and those backs are both mo five matches. Wow. How do you do that? I didn't see that. Coming. That's got to be worth the price of the book, isn't it? Yeah, yes. Yes. I got this. My grandfather died. Um, about 55 years ago, maybe more, I think. In his wallet, they found a slip of paper with a number 518451. 518451. Now, we didn't know what that was. Could it be a phone number? Could it be a safety deposit box number? Could it be a safe number? Well, we knew my grandfather was a card player and a card cheat, so we thought it could be something to do with gambling. And we knew he could take a pack of cards like this, shuffle it, and get himself the uh, four aces, like I've done there. Um, but we didn't know that he could also take a pack of cards and control cards by doing controlled shuffle to the cards. And what he would do is, by using that number, let me show you. So five, one, two, three, four, five, one, five, one, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then finally one. By doing that, he often controlled the cards. Let's see how I've done. I think I've done it as well. Because if I deal the cards, one, two, three, four, I get an ace. One, two, three, four, I get an ace. You see, that piece of paper was right because I've got another ace. That was the clue to the number in the wallet. Another ace there. And uh, look at that, you see. I've got four aces and an indifferent card. Well, let's try it again. This time, I'll do it quicker for you and get the best hand in poker. So here we go. I'll do it much quicker. You can't even see it happening this time. Hopefully you can't anyway. 
you see that let's try it again one two three four this is for me this is the winning hand hopefully it's the winning hand anyway if i do it again that's the third card now that's the fourth card and that's the fifth card and that should be the winning hand and my god it is because this time i've got myself the ten jack queen king ace of spades a raw flush that can't be beaten Hi folks, it's Paul Gordon. If we had somebody here to help me, that would be great. We don't, so uh, just assume that what I'm doing here is kosher, which it is. Uh, you ask the spectator to cut the deck into two piles, which they do, and I've got the four kings. If you can remember the order of the kings, that's fine. If you can't, it doesn't matter, uh, because watch this. I'm going to place one here, one here, one here, one here, and then gather the deck. If I do that and click my fingers, those kings should jump to the top. That's strong magic. An interesting thing here to the ESP symbols. I have. I like the routine ESP symbols. They're not actually ESP symbols. Oh, they're not? They're lexicon, alphabet oh, cards. Oh, yeah, alphabet cards. Now, when I was a boy at school, we used to do a game, just to show you how much fun we had in the 60s, <laughs> it was called Anagram. Anagram, yeah. Now, you know what Anagram is, don't you? Yes, yes. Now, uh, these cards here spell O-N-I-O-N, -O -N. onion. Onion, yes. These cards here spell O N I O N, onion. onion yeah. So we've got two onions, five for me and five for you. Right. Now, the first person to come up with a credible, a credible anagram of the word onion mm -hmm. wins. Right. So on the count of three, pick up your cards. Not yet. Whoa, steady on there. On the count of three. On the count of three, pick up your cards. The first person to come up with a credible anagram of onion wins. You ready for this? Yeah. On the count of three. One, two, three. Bingo. What? Have you done it? No. You know why? Because there is no anagram of onion. There isn't. Really? No. But you know I said bingo. This is extraordinary, isn't it? Because I've got B, I, N, G, O, bingo. And those letters weren't there to start with, were they? No, they weren't. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Here's a fooler, and that's the title of the trick, fooler. Here's a fooler I've been fooling the boys with. Uh, when I say the boys, I don't mean those kind of boys. I mean the lads down the club and the girls um, with uh, this routine for many, many years. Well, 15 years to be precise. Uh, I did it uh, for Harry Lorraine, um, bless him, back in 2016. Uh, I wanted to show him something that I didn't think he'd know uh, where it was going. Anyway, uh, you need two spectators for this and uh, you ask them to think of any number between one and 52. Now, to ensure they don't think of the same number, you ask one spectator to think of an odd number and the other spectator to think of an even number and it doesn't matter what cards they, or what numbers they think of. So let's assume spectator number one thinks of uh, 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's the eleventh card. Have a look at it and we'll leave it there. Spectator number two. Uh, what number? Twenty-eight. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. There's your card. And they really are uh, free choices. They can think of any ones they want. But I think I already know what the cards are. Um, I can't find the cards on the deck because the cards are here. But maybe I could do something special. Maybe I could try and find them in a different fashion. Watch this. Maybe I could find their mates. I think I've done it. Yep, I've done it. You see, you've got the King of Clubs and you've got the Four of Diamonds. I've got the King of Spades and I've got the Four of Hearts. So I found them after a fashion, didn't I? <laughs> and Maggie, I'm going to ask you, will you help me here? I will. I'm going to ask you to cut the pack into four piles. Okay. I'll chop them first. Just to make sure they've really well, You've never seen this man before, have you? Never okay. Seen it before. Why don't we do it? Cut three quarters of the deck and place it there for me. Three quarters and place it there. How about that? No, no, three quarters, a bit more than that. That's it, that's it. About no, to that's there. Okay. Half. About two thirds of that to there. Two thirds. Okay. Okay. And about a bit more. A bit more, that's okay. A bit more. Yeah. There. Copy mid by mid, two, yeah. two thirds. And about <laughs> half of those are there. Oh my god, yeah. Oh. Half of those are there. Is oh, it? Okay. Well, you right? we were okay the first time. Was that about there? I don't yeah, know where yeah. it was. I think that was about it. Is that right? Yes. Okay, you sure? Yeah. Okay. If you're oh, sure. Now, I'm going to um, 
I'm going to place a black king on that pile, um, a red king on that pile, and uh, the other two kings, one there and one there. Perfect. So there's a king on the top of each pile. Okay. If I take this pile here, yeah. and take this king here, all I have to do is this. It changes to an ace. And if I do that, wouldn't it be nice to get the other aces right there as well? <gasps> <laughs> Hey, the spectator, we don't have one, and the spectator will do kind of most of the work here. Uh, but the first thing to do is to always shuffle the cards. What I would like the spectator to do is to reach over and uh, choose a card. So I'm going to spread the cards between my hands. I'd like you to reach over, touch, or touch anyone you want. Well, that one there, the spectator really can touch anyone they want. I'm going to look away, and I'd like you to look at that card, and I won't take a glimpse of it. Okay, so have a look at the card now. You got it? Remember the card? Okay, I'll place it back. Now, um, I'm going to try, this is going to be difficult, um, what I'd like the spectator to do is to give the cards, so the spectator gives the cards a couple of shuffles, um, the spectator does all this, and I'm going to ask you, because I don't know what the card is, just to tell me the suit, tell me the suit, heart, okay, I'll take out the heart, so there's uh, the ace, the queen, the two, ace, queen, two, eight, three, jack, four, nine, five, king, six, ten, uh, seven, uh, is, that, is, that, is that about it? Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so we know that one of your cards is one of these random ones here. I don't know why I rolled my R there, but I did anyway. Now I'd like you to take the packet and whittle them down to one playing card. So uh, first card to the table, next one under. So the spectator does all this and they will be left with one playing card. Um, hopefully it might be their card. So the spectator, the spectator does all this. So what was the card you chose? King of Hearts. And Oh look, there's the King of Hearts. That's pretty good. However, what I don't understand is that all these cards here are now in order and that is a real miracle. The ace through to Queen and there is the King to make it a full set. Hi folks, I'm with Jan here. Hi Jan. Hi, yeah. Um, I'm going to ask you to help me in a moment by um, taking the dice and rolling the dice. We want four different numbers on the top, so if you end up with uh, two duplicate numbers, I'd like you to roll one or two of the dice again, is that okay? okay. So uh, take the dice from me, and I'd like you to do that. So roll them. Okay, you've got a four, five, that's brilliant, okay? So immediately, well, that's brilliant, fantastic. Now, I'm going to leave them in a row on the table. These are totally random numbers. So, a six, a one, a four, and a five. Now, because you've got six over here, I'm going to deal six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six over there. There's one there, so there's one card there. Four, one, two, three, four, go over there. And then five, one, two, three, four, five, and they go over there. So, that is fair isn't it yep okay now i'm just going to um bring these down here a little bit to make more room we'll get rid of the dice and i've made a little square here now bearing in mind you rolled any numbers you wanted to and that is fair the dice are regular um i took the cards off bearing in mind the numbers on there well let's have a look here we've managed to actually locate amazingly a raw flush in spades and that is extraordinary that is extraordinary how do you do that I don't know how I did that. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> I think they've just vanished. They've gone yeah, back yeah. to their place. Now, I'm going to place some cards here, some here. These I'm going to do it face up this time, but slightly differently, and some here. Now, on each pile, I'm going to place um, an ace there, an ace there, an ace there, and an ace there. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this one here, I'm going to cut it into the packet so it's lost. I'll take this one here, the Ace of Hearts, I'll cut that into the packet so it's lost the same with the Ace of Clubs, um, I'll lose that into the packet, and then finally the Ace of Diamonds which I'll cut into the packet as well, and I'll give the cards a shuffle. So they really are being mixed, but I'm going to try and find the Aces by spelling them. Starting with the Ace of Hearts, watch this, A-C-E-O-F-H-E-A-R-T-S, there's the Ace of Hearts. I'll do it again. This time the ace of spades. A C E O F S P A D E S. There's the ace of spades. I do it with the ace of clubs. Normally the round of applause. A C E O F P A L U B S. There's the ace of uh, clubs. And the last one is always the hardest to find is the ace of diamonds, which is actually exactly halfway in the deck 
which is about there, and that should be the ace of diamonds. Yeah! I'm going to give the cards a shuffle. I, I'm going to ask you to help me in a minute. I want you to think really um, of a favourite time of the day. Now, when I say that to people, I say favourite time of the day. Um, you know, at two o'clock could be, I know, late lunch, or five o'clock could be early tea, seven o'clock could be when you watch a movie, ten o'clock could be a bed, whatever it may be. Um, these are being well and truly shuffled, and I always have to give them a cut as well, just to keep us honest. Now, I want you to take the deck. Now, I'm going to turn aside as you do this. If you're thinking you'll say three o'clock, I want you to deal three cards onto the table. If you're think thinking of eight o'clock, deal eight cards onto the table. When you've done that, put the deck back over here and put your hand over the cards that you've dealt, okay? I've tried to talk as I do this, so I can't hear what you're doing there. Um, and then put the deck back in front of me. Have you done that? Yes. Can you square up your cards and put your hand over them so I can't see how many you've got? Now there's no way, there's no way I could know what hour you're thinking or how, or how many cards. But it's going to be up to 12, so let's use 12 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now I'm going to cut some cards off here, which will mimic or replicate exactly how many you've got. Now that's quite impossible, because I shuffled the deck at the beginning, and I had no idea what, and I really didn't know what, we're not in cahoots with this, are we? No. Um, but I think I'm going to go for, I think possibly that many there. That many there. So, what is the hour you're thinking of? Nine. Nine. Could you raise your hand a second? So nine cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards. These are the ones I cut off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And that, folks, is a miracle, bearing in mind I've shuffled the deck. Would you agree? Yes. But I always like to go further, because um, we've got the Ace of Diamonds here, the Ace of Clubs here, the Ace of Spades there, and the Ace of Hearts there. That's a real miracle. How about that, folks?